Hey everyone, this is Chazibo1234 here, and today I'm going to show you how to transfer uh, files from your old hard drive, SATA or IDE, to your new computer. And as you can see here are my all my cords that came with my Diablo Tech USB 2.0 to SATA IDE cable adapter. It's only $20. I got it from TigerDirect.com, and I think you know if you need your new files you should definitely go to tigerdirect.com and get the Diablo Tech so I'm gonna show you what the stuff is. This is for people who don't really know technical stuff too well this is a SATA cable and SATA is just a type of hard drive it's a newer type of hard drive that are in you know most newer computers uh... the older ones are IDE but I have a SATA hard drive and this is the actual USB adapter and as you can see there are two types of pin types and these are for IDE uh, hard drives which are the older models um, so you know it'll work with both type of hard drives which is nice and then this is the power supply so you can give your hard drive power simple enough so here's what we're going to do. First, I'm going to take my power supply. I already plugged this cord in. Really simple, you just plug it in. And then here we have a type of like irregular hexagon shape with four pins. And I forgot to include this this cord also. This is the power supply cord. And what I'm going to want to do is plug this these four pins right here into this. I gotta do this one handed. So I'm gonna try and get this in the frame. Make sure they align up right. You can see that the flat edge is on the bottom. Flat edge is on the bottom. So simply just put them together. Uh, this is hard with one hand. Forgive me. Uh, I feel like alright I'm just gonna do it out of the frame apologize for that but makes it a little easier for me so there we are now we're gonna get this side and plug it in to the hard drive I'm gonna do this out of the frame but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do first so as you can see here is where the power goes over here on the left side you can see that there is an indentation on the left and that is where you that's what you're going to use as your guideline and there's also you know a little L shape right there so I'm going to do this out of the frame unfortunately but you should understand apologize it's a little difficult cuz I'm not using there we are. Alright, so now this is nice and firmly attached. So, we're just going to set our hard drive. I'm setting mine down on my computer. And now here's what we're going to do. This is our SATA cable. You can look at the SATA cable and see that's an L shape. So simply just take a look at the hard drive. You can see that there's the L shape. You know, it's really simple stuff. I'm going to set the camera down for just one second. Alright. So, there is what our hard drive is looking like now. Okay, so now we're going to plug the other end of the SATA into the USB adapter. I'm going to do this out of the frame as well. Really all you have to do is just look at the shapes of your connections and make sure that the, the connections line up right. You know, fairly simple stuff. So here we are, and then this is the USB. Now we're not going to plug this in just yet. I really, I want you to hear this because we're going to plug this power supply into the outlet right over there. and. 
what this is going to do is cause the hard drive to spin up, which is, you know, what a hard drive would normally do if it's hooked up to power. So, I am going to plug it in, and I'm going to get it nice and close so you can hear the spinning. You ready? Alright, there it is. So you're going to let it spin up for a bit. Give it about 15-20 seconds. And here is my USB port. You know, you should all know how to hook up a USB. We'll find out if I do. Yeah, I do. Okay, so hopefully... If you have a Vista system, or a Windows 7 system, you should not have to install the drivers. And... Let's ignore that. The device is ready to use. Awesome. This is Recovery F. So what we're going to want to do is... I have Vista, by the way. We're going to want to open folder to view files. See what we can see. Okay, let me get a little bit closer and this is what we have boot EFI sources those are the three folders so really what we gotta do is just explore uh no Okay, uh, now it says data H, which actually is way more encouraging. And here we are. This is what looks to be my D. And I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. My hard drive had a C and a D partition, and my computer would not boot up. And what does this mean is uh, that's my my zero sector was most likely bad, or possibly my whole C my whole you know C drive. So I think what happened is I lost my C drive, and I'm not worried about that. That's my music, all my music I can obtain again. Really, what I was hoping not to lose was my D drive, and here's my D drive. These are just my PVR folders, and my rendered videos. So there you have it. I'm just going to give you a quick recap. Just simply hook up the power supply connector to the hard drive and then to the wall and allow your hard drive to spin up. It, it's like it happened in the video. Um, it said recovery and then it said uh, data. So you're going to want to wait for it to um, recognize it as a data drive. And simply hook the SATA up to the USB adapter, USB adapter to the computer, and you should be able to recover your files. And unfortunately, you know, I didn't get to recover everything, but it's all good. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know how many more of these videos I'm going to be making. It just, you know, I've been having computer problems, and I figured if I know how to fix them, I might as well show some people who don't. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And this was how to get data off of your whole old hard drive onto your new computer. Bye-bye.